This month's transit news from Thoroughfare. The TransPennine route upgrades funding has been increased from 1.9 billion to between 9 and 11.5 billion. Tracy Brabin, Mayor of West Yorkshire, begins the Mayor's Big Bus Chat, a wide consultation for views regarding the region's buses. And Team Pennine, the successor to Yorkshire Tiger, has just celebrated their one year anniversary since their launch last year. In other news, on from this, Team Pennine has just celebrated their first year of operation, and now, with the school term ending, they're going to be making even more changes. The 502 from Halifax to Keighley is going to be rebranded to the Northern Line, and the 587 from Rochdale to Halifax is also being taken over by Team Pennine from First Halifax. More details about the changes can be found in the description below. Now, the government has just announced that it will be increasing funding for the Trans Pennine route upgrade by threefold. Here's what the mayor has to say about it. The TRU upgrade will bring great benefits, but our ambition for a new high speed line between Leeds and Manchester with that crucial stop in Bradford remains. I will continue to progress the case for, for this with ministers. Also, in response to the National Audit Office releasing their report into the upgrade, the Mayor commented, We should be reaping the benefits of electrification now, not in 10 years' time. On that note, a huge new consultation for bus users across West Yorkshire has been launched by the Mayor. At the name, the Mayor's Big Bus Chat, there's in-person events and online consultation for you to engage with, and have your views heard. I responded to the survey and I encourage you to as well if you're a bus user. Though, in rather discouraging news, the Keighley Bus Museum, which houses a large collection of historic buses, among other historic vehicles, are being evicted from their current location at Riverside in Keighley, and therefore their next event on Sunday August 7th will be their last at Riverside, and it may be a while before the museum hold their next event. In Bradford, the Top of Town project will start work soon. The project, worth £2 million, will see a new pocket park introduced, further tree planting and work to allow North Street to be traffic free on a temporary basis. To close off with, the first couple of new street lights announced in March have arrived in Bradford. At the moment, only five seem to be in service out of a total order of 11. As always, thanks for watching Thoroughfare, and I do want to apologise for the lack of coverage in the last few months. I had my exams, and thus they were my main focus, and I wish you all the best.